Hey guys, Kenny Holmes here. Here's a little extra part of our conversation, a little bonus clip with uh, Tyler Bates. He talks a little bit about Watchmen and working on that, and also a new project that he's working on with DC called Dark Knight's Metal. Check it out. I know that the Watchmen series and Watchmen film certainly got you some incredible fans, and deservedly so. Some I was, amazing music. I was they thinking, got a couple clips. I was thinking about how I have... Of course, a number of composers I've spoken to who are f a little freaked out by the fact that the film they score, which is often animatics or... Yeah, I do that a lot. You know, but then they see their music up against final or near final picture, and they trip. Ah, oh, that's well, great. you know... <laughs> so has that happened to you? Like, I was thinking on Watchmen, when you see the final image, do you think... Well, uh, I'm underwhelming in my original approach, or I've overwhelmed these animatics with a lot of music that isn't necessary because the visual's so substantial now. Has it happened that way? Well, well of course, because uh, especially with the action films or you know the adventure type films, you're working with a lot of blue screen animatics, things of that nature, and you really don't know all of the required information until you see at least a very close to finished visual effect because there's a lot of depth and detail in that visual effect. So do you hold back until that moment or? You know, I try and I try and guess and get and get as close to where I'll need to be as possible. But of course, you know, the dynamics are oftentimes not perfect. And then the way the movies change at the 11th hour, you know, sometimes you've written and orchestrated a cue that's uh, that's intended to play as a music moment and Instead, there's going to be a diesel engine on top of it. And so, love that. You know, you just have to accept that. At that point, what I want to do is help satisfy the director's objective. And it's not about me. If it's, if somebody wants to listen to the soundtrack album to hear the music as it was written and produced and, you know, whatnot, that's, that's fantastic. But, you know, the storytelling is the most important thing. So, I think we have a cue from Watchmen. Yeah, Matt's got that. I think this is the guitar viol, right? It's in that queue, yeah. It's a, it's a lot. Of, it, it's all over the place in that movie. The 300 was the first film that I had the instrument, which... We, we did a little bonus clip from the documentary on our YouTube. Oh, there it is. That's it, right? It's playing with the orchestra. Mm. So I, I'll do, you know, I'll, I'll do that frequently. I'll lay that guy in there. With orchestra, is that kind of your signature? Do you, no, you like that go-to. No, oh, man, I'm a I'm a gar garbage picker. I'll play anything. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a table, or it could be a love that timpani, whatever. You know, I I'm just looking to create something that I think is soulful and is evocative and and touches people. And that can be, you know, I think The Devil's Rejects, which is one of the most disturbing movies I've seen, let alone worked on. The, to me, the music is very soulful. Like every sound in that movie was handmade by myself and my friend Wolfgang. And hmm. it was all played as though it were an orchestra. That's how I thought of it. Oh, cool. Know? And yeah, there, there are uh, some live performances, like ensemble stuff that we did, you know, band stuff. You said at one point just a moment ago that if they wanted to hear all, you know, you said a diesel engine can come in and crush a cue. And if they wanted to hear all the music, they can hear the soundtrack album you also told me before we started rolling that you're working on an album at warner brothers records of songs from did you say dc comics yeah with, with uh, the legendary mike elizondo mike e yeah the great one can you tell me a little about that record when sure. we can expect to hear stuff too absolutely uh mike elizondo is a brilliant musician bassist huge producer nowadays a and r wbr yeah. yes he is and uh so years ago, we were in a band together uh, when he was first working with Dr. Dre. And then, of course, he produced Eminem and Dre's 2001, Avenged Sevenfold, My Chemical Romance, Fiona Apple. I mean, the guy's got a... Such range. Oh, yeah. well, he, he absolutely does. He's a master. 21 pilot. Yeah, master artist. He really is. Uh, his understanding of the syntax of music in the most authentic way is uh, is unlike most anybody I've ever met. So he's a great guy, very positive, and has maybe the best recording studio in town. Um, so anyway, uh, Matt Keller and uh, a good friend of mine, Xavier Ramos, Matt Keller's at DC Comics. 
they thought that uh, is a companion to a new comic series called Dark Knight's Metal, uh, which is a big deal. It was like apparently the largest selling comic last year. So they thought it would be great for Mike and I to create a companion album to bring a music, nice. a musical dimension to this comic. So what were there were six issues of the comic, and it's now going to be released in uh, in a graphic novel form. And um, they, this album is a companion piece, and so Mike and I are collaborating with six different artists uh, to to create this album that is is going to you know accompany the uh, the graphic novel. And uh, I just uh, sounds like what you were playing earlier. You you heard a taste of uh, a track I did with Jason from uh, the Fever Three Three Three. Just worked with Chino from Deftones the other night, and uh, Alexis Krauss from Sleigh Bells did a track with us, and Braun from the band Mastodon did another one, and uh, we're uh, we're finishing the last couple tracks right now. Like a family album, kind of a (laughs) gentle approach. No, it's really it's really fun. It's (laughs) it's super fun and. you know, it's making music with my friends, so I'm I'm having a great time. Don't forget to subscribe on Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast platform. And thanks for telling a friend about the show and helping us continue to grow.